what is the principle of least privilege and why do we need that in this video we would try to understand that in information security the principle of least privilege is a concept as per which every user program or process is given the minimum access that is essential to perform the job or function for example if a database user needs to view a table he should not have the right to update or delete a table similarly if a user's job is only to use a system for a particular purpose then he should not have the right to install additional software on the system that requires administrative privileges the principle of least privilege is an essential concept in information security it helps in protecting data and functionality from false and malicious behavior it helps in reducing the cyber attack surface suppose a user does not have the administrative privileges in that case the malware cannot exploit the system to gain privileged access unless the system has some other vulnerabilities in that way the principle of least privilege helps in preventing the spread of malware also if the malware cannot gain privileged access it cannot move laterally or install and execute the malware on other systems easily the principle of least privilege also helps in complying with internal policies and regulatory requirements if a user program or process has only the essential access rights to perform the necessary jobs or actions then the user program or process cannot cause unintentional damage to critical systems to which it does not have any access cyber attackers also cannot exploit the access rights of the user program process or module to gain access to critical systems or to install malware how to implement the principle of least privilege in an organization remove unnecessary local administrative privileges from all users processes programs or modules only the necessary access rights should be given audit the full environment and locate privileged accounts separate administrative accounts from non administrative accounts and isolate the sessions of privileged users enable just in time access elevation if a user needs to perform some privileged actions temporarily the user should be given temporary access rights to perform the job and last but not least protect all administrative accounts with strong passwords and enable two factor authentication whenever it is possible i hope this helps interested viewers who want to know more can visit the website of the security body the security body also provides different cyber security courses including courses for certification exams like ccna ccnp and comptia the relevant links are provided in the description you can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos